Oi pessoas, ok, estou fazendo aqui em um quarto em Brasília, quando I'm supposed to be in a beach in Alaguas. Basicamente, uh, o audio que eu gravei foi estragado. Estragado? Sim, foi muito mal, terrível. Just unusable. Pelo, 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 vento. Pelo, pelo, o ve pelo vento na praia, because of the wind. Um, it ruined a lot of the audio in the video. A lot of my my talking and describing what I was doing in the video was just completely ruined because of the wind. For some reason I thought it was a good idea to record on a windy beach. Um, so yeah, that kind of ruined the video a little bit. So I need to fix it. So basically I'm just gonna show my face here and narrate a little bit of the video just to kind of explain exactly what I was doing in this vlog. It's just gonna be a little bit different to my previous vlogs. But without further ado, vamos lá. Let's take a look at the video. Oi, gente, tudo bem com vocês? Então, hoje, outro dia em Maragogi. Yeah, so yesterday I got a little bit sunburned. Um, you can probably see it on my face a little bit and then just down here. The sun is very strong out here and obviously I put on sun cream. But what happened was like after I went for a swim, I was sat under an umbrella and I left. This part of my body wasn't under the umbrella. And it wasn't long before I got burnt. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm a little bit burnt today. I'm not sure if I'm going to go into the ocean today because I don't want to get, you know, I don't want to be too exposed to the sun. Um, I'm going to look for a little protection t-shirt to wear um, so I can be more protected when I'm out swimming in the sea, basically, because, yeah, the sun is very strong out here and it caught me by surprise. I'm not going to lie. So what we're doing today is we've just come up to another beach in an area called San Jose. And it's actually across the border of Pernambuco. So now we are in Pernambuco. Yesterday we were in Anaguas. We're going to try and get some quadro, quadro ciclas. I think that's what they're called. Quad bikes in English. We're going to try and rent one out and me and Tommy are going to go on a little cruise somewhere around here. Not sure exactly where yet. But first thing we're going to do, we're going to have a bit of lunch because we just come to the, the little beach here. And yeah, we're going to try and find some lunch. So let's see what we have on offer here. Okay, so this is what we're going to try and do. This is going to be me later on, the tummy on the back. I'll be doing that. Like yeah, and we'll also be getting, a, we'll be getting a picture like that to send to our family. Actually, I think I prefer this picture here. If we can do that, that'll be... I'll love to send that on a Christmas card to my family, so we're going to try and get that picture today. Okay, so today's food we've gone for some beefy, big manjoca frita, a I don't know what type of bean this is, a new type of bean for me. I've never had this before. A bit of fun off. And with a beautiful view, of course. I'm going to need safety. Tell the app can't snake me. Ray gun on safety. My girl's so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She want the two tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily. So the stress don't face me. I'm going. I keep it factual. I'm on sabbatical. I'm out in Central America. I need a break from hysteria. Park like the one with the carousel. I get it lit in your area. I'm locked to the vision. It couldn't be clear. You couldn't pay me to care enough. I dare you to hate me. Supreme with the sound through the stereo. So turn it up loud when you hearing us. We live in as good as your area. Mama, mama. In town, o cuatro ciclos. Foi muito, muito legal. The guy took us on several stops, four different viewpoints. And in this little clip here, esse lugar aqui, onde o rio encontra o mar, basicamente. Um, aqui foi muito, muito legal, muito bonito e muito tranquilo. Um, the river was actually very deep. This guy is showing us here with his little stick. Um, and it looks like you can, you know, jump in there, walk in there, but there's a big drop um, in this river where it makes it like deceiving because it's actually very deep. <laughs> this part foi muito, muito engraçado. The, the guia nos mostrou algumas poses para fazermos para os fotos. Aqui está o Tami fazendo esse. For Morso Posey, for Muito Engraçado. Yeah, well, I didn't actually expect to do these poses. I was kind of like making jokes about the pictures that I seen at the beginning of this tour, thinking that, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. The guides here in Brazil, a lot of these tours is what they'll do is they'll include kind of taking pictures of you and they actually kind of direct you to make these poses. 
Um, so yeah, we were doing it for fun. It was it was really funny, and I'm I'm glad I got my cool picture on my quad bike. <laughs> So yeah, the quad bike thing was really cool. It was only about one hour in total and it went really fast, but it was worth it. That day there was actually quite cloudy, so it wasn't really a beach day anyway. So it's kind of like the perfect day to, to hire the quad bikes. And the day after this day, we actually had to wake up super early because we were going out to see the, um, the coral reefs and we had to wake up super early because of the low tide. So in this next part is me waking up super early not actually recording anything super early because I was too tired to even think to do that. But what I did do is I recorded some shots out there during the tour. The video doesn't show how, how cool it was to be able to like swim amongst all these corals and these fishes. The tour is really well organized as well. Um, one of the guys who led the tour gave you like a good speech about the kind of area, a lot of information about the area and just kind of like, you know, the kind of things to do if you don't feel safe swimming in the water they were very good with like making sure that they would look after you while you swam over there me personally i'm quite a confident swimmer so i was just enjoying the freedom of swimming amongst all these corals by myself um, but the whole thing was really cool because it wasn't like overcrowded there it was kind of just a it was a quite a big group but not too big and there wasn't like loads of boats there at the same time trying to do the same thing as you um, so yeah i'm going to put a link for that place in the description. Take a look at some of the scenes from that beautiful morning swimming in the coral reefs of Madagogi. I don't think the the images do it justice there's I tried to film as much as I could but I, it's difficult to show it you just need to go there and see how how amazing it was to be able to swim amongst the fishes swim amongst the corals I did I, <laughs> I did actually record a bit more but um, <laughs> it's a little story it's a little story basically uh, when I was filming with my little underwater camera, I was getting these shots around the corals. Obviously I was with my wonderful girlfriend Tammy, um, but what we didn't notice at the time was that while she was swimming under the water, her swimming costume or, or bikini, as you call it, her bikini actually kind of slipped off and exposed her. So she was actually swimming half naked under the water um, and we didn't notice at the time, she didn't notice, so <laughs> when I went back to the apartment and I looked at the footage um, I could see this this woman half naked underwater and I was like, who is this? And I realised it's my girlfriend. <laughs> so, so yeah, I can't use that footage unfortunately, I'll be keeping it to myself. But yeah, there was, there was some more footage, but yeah, in general it was just like really beautiful there. The fishes are really beautiful and the waters are crystal clear. Like I said, the footage just doesn't do it justice. The tour in general, as I said a little bit before, it was just really well organized. They were in contact the day before about what time we would need to wake up. Initially they said 6am they would, they would come to pick us up, 
but then it changed to 5 a.m. And this is all because of the tide time, so you need to go in low tide. But they did come to the house, they picked us up in a little mini bus, and they also picked up some other people in the area who were also going on a tour. And they take you to the beach, to the boat, and then you get on the boat, and then it's a 30 minute journey out to the corals. And during that time, there's a tour guide who explains kind of everything, gives you information about the corals, about the tour, how it's gonna be in general, about swimming in the waters, some things to look out for, some things to be aware of. If you're not a good swimmer, then, you know, how they're gonna help you. Um, so all in all, it was very well informed tour. Um, when we did arrive there, the tide was actually higher than they expected. So we had to swim out from the boat, I would say five to 10 minutes, um, but they had like life jackets and floats for people that were not very comfortable with swimming and they also assisted you in swimming to get out to the corals. I myself, I'm a confident swimmer, <laughs> I say that a bit smugly. Um, I always enjoy swimming, I did a lot of swimming when I was younger so um, I took the opportunity to be independent and swim amongst the corals myself. You could also get the, what do you call it, the um, snorkels to wear and you could swim underwater to actually see closer the corals, which is what I did. And yeah, it was just beautiful, just like something that I've always seen people do on TV. I've watched a lot of nature documentaries that film all these corals. And while I was there, I was just like thinking, I've always wanted to see this and now I'm actually seeing it in real life. So it's kind of like a dream realized for me. Before I may have mentioned that it wasn't too busy out there. For example, in Porto Gigalinhas, you could do the same thing, but they do it, I think they do it a lot closer to the coast and it's a lot more busier. It's just like huge crowds of people doing the same thing as you taking pictures with fishes. Um, well, this one felt a little bit more natural because of it being less busy and actually having to travel out to the corals instead of just kind of walking to them. Um, so yeah, it felt a bit more natural. And also the tour guide explained that um, some of the money, that your portion of the money you pay for the tour goes towards conservation, protecting, those corals in the ocean and also it goes towards them giving lessons to kids in schools about the corals and what we need to do in order to protect these type of habitats and how to look after them in future. Um, so I like to think that the company was a kind of eco-tourism, you know, a, a kind of tour, tour where you are not just taking advantage or extorting certain parts of nature and you are actually contributing towards nature, which is for me, it makes me feel good. I, I like to be aware of that type of stuff, me personally. I will put the link down there. And as I said, guys, if you have not done it, or if you want to do it, then I definitely recommend that tour. No, I'm not getting paid by them to say that. I just really enjoyed it. Um, so I want to take this opportunity to recommend them. Just to summarize, Madaguji in general is a really beautiful area. In the next video we go to Porto Gigalinhas. In comparison to Porto Gigalinhas, it's slightly different in Madaguji. is a smaller town and I would say kind of less restaurants, it's less busy, less tourists there. Um, so I liked it. It was nice, nice and quiet, nice and chilled and the beaches are they are very beautiful. Any questions about this video, um, put in the comments and I will try to respond to any questions if you do want any more information. But like I said guys, if you are looking to go to Nordest, if you're looking to go anywhere in Northeast Brazil, then I certainly recommend this area. So guys, in the next video, we'll be going to Porto Gigalinhas, where I'll be doing some more adventures there. So make sure you look out for that video. Say inscribing on my channel. And someone asked me earlier, like, why am I not getting notified about your videos? There's a little bell next to the subscribe button. If you hit that, then it should come up in your notifications that I've uploaded a new video. So if you haven't done that already, make sure to do that. And Ate mais, gente. I will see you guys in the next video. Obrigado por assistindo meus videos. Always, always obrigado para vocês. Ate mais, até logo.